You know, a lot of you guys have been asking me for a legal update, and I've been refraining from speaking about anything, hoping this is going to go away, that, you know, the right thing is going to be done, and I'm going to be left alone by these degenerates. But uh, that has not seemed to happen, so I gladly oblige in revealing the latest news. So, so, so let's start from the beginning. If you guys are unfamiliar with the lawsuits, you know, I've been doing health, nutrition. I have a lot of very unique and creative ideas, especially with the carnivore diet from 2016. This guy, Paul Saladino, weirdo freakazoid doctor, comes along, starts plagiarizing my videos. I call out the plagiarism, and then he eventually sues me for slander. So this guy comes, copies my videos, steals my ideas, starts his own businesses, and then sues me using his daddy's money. Dude, super connected, da, da, da. My business partner, who started Frankie Strange Meat with me in 2019, stole $20,000 before the LLC was even signed. I kicked him out last year after he stole approximately $200,000 over the course of two years. And the guy is still harassing me with his lawyers with this arbitration nonsense. So, so the case with Ratboy, a.k.a. Saladino, is still in federal court. It's awaiting some sort of, of trial motion. That's going to be a few months away. But the case with my former business partner is currently in arbitration, which is some type of like privately owned association, the American Arbitration Association, which my former lawyer that I had to fire uh, got me into. But the, the whole like scenario and course of events that have led to this, to, to me, is crazy. You guys are unfamiliar Paul Saldino's nickname is Rat Boy because he looks like a rat and acts like a rat. The dude is in Costa Rica surfing and like living it up, literally tanning his own asshole with his boyfriend, legs up in the air. And I don't know why the dude went to Costa Rica. I don't know if he got on some sort of sexual predator list and maybe Paul Saldino had to leave the United States after getting put on some sexual predator list. I don't know. But the legal sex age in Costa Rica is 15. And since the dude is doing all sorts of weird stuff, like skateboarding as a 45-year-old man, I'm inclined to believe he's taking advantage of that 15-year-old age limit in Costa Rica, especially pertaining to little boys. So that's not, that's not, it's not out of the realm of possibility. I'm not saying it's true. I'm not saying it's false. But granted, how much of a weirdo the guy is, and he's tanning his butthole naked with his friends, I mean, you never know. You know, and my business partner is a bit of a weirdo too, Adam Starowitz. Um, I mean, the dude is a chef. And he owns a $1.5 million apartment in Manhattan and has a $1.5 million house in Westchester. How does a chef who is at most making seventy, eighty thousand 80000 a year for five or six years have several million dollars worth of real estate? It doesn't make any sense. And his wife that he actually met working at a restaurant where they were probably both stealing money from the owner because Adam's wife was actually married to the guy that owned the restaurant, and then Adam came in, stole the dude's wife, and stole, I'm assuming this is what happened, stole the dude's wife, and then stole money from the guy. How else would, they don't have money. Adam's wife doesn't have money. Adam doesn't have money. How did, how did they have that much money worth of real estate? You know? He's a chef. He, he doesn't make shit. So I'm, the guy is a real clever, evil scumbag, probably stole money from a lot of people, including myself, you know? And, and you know what was really weird was he was telling me when he was looking for houses, one of the houses that was shown to him, they had some type of like weird soundproof basement with like chains on the walls. And he said it nonchalantly. And I was like, what is wrong? Well, this guy's a weirdo. Why, is, why are real estate agents showing him that stuff? So you know, both of these guys are super connected in the club. And what triggered me to make this video, I mean, look, that stuff is crazy in itself. I feel like I'm living in some sort of fucking simulation. I can't believe this shit's happening to me because these people are suing me. You know, these people are suing me after stealing money and ideas from me and they want more. Um, the, the American Arbitration Association is, to my understanding, privately owned, but they have jurisdiction in court. And my former lawyer, Jeffrey Davis, who was Jewish, <laughs> was, uh, to my understanding, in collusion with my business partner, Adam Starowitz, probably Paul Saladino. I don't know what type of connections they have, you know, what the deal is, but I'm assuming they were all working together against me. And my lawyer basically got me an arbitration without my consent. And when I asked the arbitration association, hey, I never consented to this arbitration. What's your proof? They forwarded me the LLC, which has a clause that, hey, if there's an issue with the business, it has to go to arbitration. But my argument to my lawyer was the LLC is fraudulent and that we have to file uh, a motion in 
Supreme Court to invalidate and void the LLC so I can leave the arbitration. But now I'm six months in arbitration and I just found out about it on April 1st. So they sent me an email and I go to the arbitration association. I say, hey, listen, I have no clue what's going on. I had to fire my lawyer two months ago. I didn't know I was in arbitration because I didn't pay any arbitration fees. I didn't do shit. I didn't consent to arbitration. And you know, the, the poor Adam scumbag lawyer is telling me, oh, I want to subpoena your mother because she looked at the bank statements. My poor mother who's gone through so much in life. I want to subpoena your account. I want to subpoena your bank records. Dude, you stole $200,000. Fuck off, all right? What the fuck is your problem? And he, he's doing this. And I say, listen, I told the arbitration association, give me a few weeks. Let me either get a lawyer or give me some time to figure out some stuff pro se. They denied it. They denied the motion. They said, oh, no, your lawyer was dismissed February 7th. You've had seven weeks to find a lawyer. What? I just got an email April 1st. I called up the Arbitration Association. I said on the phone, you, I mean, I was nice at first. I called them a few times. I explained to them, hey, listen, I don't know what's going on. Can you please pause the case for several weeks to give me time to figure out what's going on? They denied that. They denied it. And then he said, oh, let me subpoena this person. That person. I said, what do you have to subpoena them for? You already have the bank records. And every single thing I tried to do to the arbitration association, nope, denied, 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 siding with the opposition. So I, I called them up. I said, listen, you cocksuckers can collude with each other all you want. I don't know what sort of group you're in. I don't know what sort of club you're in. If you want to work together, I'm going to ignore you. That's exactly what you're doing. No matter what I say, no matter what you do, whatever BS in court and the arbitration association, whatever you guys are involved in, it's obviously above that. And, you're, and they're not going to listen to any single thing I say. So I, I was so irritated earlier. This is the fourth phone call I made to my case manager. I called him up. I said, listen, I, I was cursing at him. I was like, listen, you ugly fucking cocksuckers. You can work together all you want. I'm not tolerating your bullshit. Don't fucking email me. Don't pretend like I'm participating in this case because I never consented to it. I never wanted to be involved in it. And you're ignoring my request. It's completely unprofessional. Let me send, and, and after I called that lady, what was funny to me was they sent me, they sent me an email. Uh, let me find it. Hold on. Please review the attached correspondence regarding the above reference case. <laughs> and, and then they said, this correspondence confirms that going forward, all communication in this matter will be conducted via email. <laughs> Please note that direct communication with the arbitrator has, been, has also been discontinued per our correspondence. Any communication to be directed to the arbitrator will be submitted to the American Arbitration Association case manager's attention via email using the contract... <laughs> So that, that lady did not appreciate uh, me calling her up on the phone and giving her a piece of my mind. But uh, yeah, I'm going I'm to put all of the names of the people involved in this case. So maybe you guys can give them a call and talk some sense into them. Um, the arbitrator is, what's his name, Chang or something. Arbitrator Chang in New Jersey. Uh, the case manager is Eve Turner. Uh, what's the opposing counsel's lawyer name? Let's see what that is. Uh, the scumbag lawyer that my business partner entrusted is... GMGS Law Liberatos, L I B E R A T O S Law, Georgia GMGS Law. So there's two lawyers, and I mean, my business partner is a complete lying scumbag piece of shit. So I'm assuming that he's lying to his own lawyers too. But you know, the American Arbitration Association, what my lawyer, what my lawyer did to me was really foggy. Jeffrey Davis, I called him earlier. I said, dude, what what the fuck were you doing? Can you? I asked him. Can you contact the Arbitration Association and tell them that you led me into arbitration? And he said, no, I didn't do that. That looks bad. I mean, I was like, what the fuck? That's exactly what you did. And, um, and, and because over the course of about six months, all my lawyer did was ignore my requests to avoid the LLC. And, and he kept trying to get me to pay the arbitration fees, almost as if he was getting like a cut from the Arbitration Association. So everything to my understanding, everyone involved in the case besides me, was working in the interest of the opposing counsel. The Arbitration Association, my own lawyer, just completely, completely disgusting scumbag shit. Scumbag shit, you know? I wouldn't be surprised if my business partner had his own kids tied up in his basement at this point, you know? But uh, maybe someone else can call CPS because it's not going to be me. But uh, I've had enough of this shit, guys. I've had enough of this shit, you know? I, I started my YouTube channel five, six years ago because I wanted to improve the health of other people. And now there's a bunch of... Uh, Greedy scumbags that don't want to play fair or play by the rules. So, you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do?